Okay, just needed to take that quick break to uh, play some Forza. 60 frames per second HDR with my computer. Oh, it looks nice. I don't think the HDR works right, but the 60 frames per second 4K. That's nice. Okay, I got a big batch of work done. It's out of my hands for the moment. Next up, what's next? Next up, I gotta decide, am I gonna run? Or am I gonna eat? Or am I gonna run and then eat? I should probably run, right? I don't know, it's hard to tell. Okay, let's, uh, let's do that run. Okay, I'm gonna go straight through the run. I'm not gonna stop, so I'll check in with you after I finish. Yeah, I've been going way too easy on myself. Two miles is much more appropriate to stay in shape and to improve my shape. I gotta get some lunch. Well, just groceries in general, I suppose. But that does not preclude a slice of pizza as well. It is time for more Red Dead Redemption. I've not had quite as much time to play it as I would like, but we are gonna give it a good amount right now. It's gonna be great. You know, I need to go return this to the library and I just realized I really, really don't want to do that right now. So instead, I'm gonna watch Deep Space Nine, have dinner, and pay the 10 cent late fee. I was listening to the Minimalist podcast and they said something that I found very accurate. And it's something I've been saying for a while, but I just didn't have this eloquent phrase to say it like they did. Every upgrade is also a downgrade. And I would say that not being content with what I have is probably my biggest life issue right now. I'm constantly looking at everything, like, ooh, how can I improve this? And it's almost like maybe I should be improving like myself a little bit more and like my interpersonal relationships, my actual practical skills, instead of just like trying to improve like these objects, if that makes any sense. Anyways, what they were talking about specifically was say you upgrade like your phone, it's also a downgrade to your wallet. It's also a downgrade to the time that you could have been spent doing something else with that money. Does that make sense? I don't really know what to do about all that. It's just something that's been on my mind recently. It's like, I gotta be content with the objects and just work on the self. You know what I'm saying? Let's see. That is gonna do it for today's vlog. Thank you very much for watching. I don't know why I'm still up. I'm super tired. See you tomorrow. I had an excellent night of sleep. I'm feeling very motivated. Rather than dilly-dally around, I'm going to get right to work. Good progress, but once again, the bodily needs are taking over and I gotta eat. Man, it's such a hassle sometimes. Uh, So my buddy Nate, who you guys might know, is in town for Christmas and the holidays and such. I'm thinking about interviewing him, just like a quick five minutes for the Patreon vlog, to get his thought process on how he does the drum tracks for Adventure Archives. Uh, but anyways, I'm gonna get a burrito real quick, and then he's coming over. Okay, so this right here is Nathan Laguza. Hello. Well, actually, Nate Laguza. Yeah, either either or. Why do I call you Nathan? Because. <laughs> <laughs> okay, always great seeing Nathan. Man, I just like love that guy. So we're gonna be filming in an episode coming up pretty soon. We still don't know where we're going. We never seem to know where we're going until right before we go. But it is gonna be cold outside. Yeah. Anyways. That's it for now.
First off, I gotta figure out my tent situation because the stuff sack for my tent is all messed up. I don't know why I just haven't been able to get my backpack set up just like done and like turnkey. It's just like there's always some reason why I can't just have everything ready to go. Anyways, my tent stuff sack has this big hole in it now. Uh, so I've got my old sleeping bag stuff sack. I'll just use that, right? Yeah, why not? Okay, my camping stuff at least is good to go. I still gotta put like camera stuff. I think that's the big thing is I can't leave all my camera stuff in my bag at the same time. So it's like, it's always changing. It's never quite the way I want it to be. So whatever. It has just occurred to me that DVDs are $1 a day for late fees. So I should probably take this back today. Actually, I'm going to end the vlog here today. I don't really have much left to say or do. So thank you for watching. I should see you tomorrow. If I don't, then I'll see you whenever I see you. And it's also something that's just much, and they also put it much more eloquently than, and it's something I've been saying for a while, but I didn't have like this eloquent, f <laughs>